Hi there. In this video we are going to be unboxing and using for the first time this My Robot Vacuum Mop from Xiaomi. This video will be uh, from the perspective of somebody that has never used uh, a vacuum like this, a robot. So I have no idea how to use the apps, anything related to it. So if you are like me, presumably this video uh, will be more relatable than other reviews from people that have used uh, tens of them. So let's open this box. Uh, just mention these things. Yes, all-in-one robotic vacuum mop. Yes, it vacuums and also cleans with water. It's ultra thin. Hmm, that's actually thin. 8.2 centimeters. Okay. And it can clear obstacles high as 2 centimeters. That's quite a lot. I have that rug which is a bit taller, so I'm curious if it will clear it. And yes, stuff like that I hope will be gone from the floors because my daughters Ah, yeah, they, they managed to remove fluff from every single toy and spread it all around the house. Kids. Electronically controlled water mopping system will be the judge of uh, how well controlled that is. Visual navigation system, new. Hmm. Accurately mapping out routes in real time will be the judge of that. App remote control, yes, obviously. And powerful suction. I don't really know if this is powerful or not. I will put an overlay after I do a bit of research off camera. Um, but the most important thing, it must gather stuff from the carpet and from the floor. If it does that, I don't care about this number. It just needs to do its job. Unboxing has begun. First thing right here. I think we are greeted with the mop itself and it's in a sealed bag so we need to unseal it from this end. It's a resealable bag so that's nice, nice touch. And weird noise is coming from the dishwasher. So this is the little mop. How does it stay in here? Yeah, just keep it in here. Okay, that's good enough. And I think this is also the... Yep, so you can fill this up with water. Uh, presumably through one of these ends. Am I getting this wrong? Cannot be getting this wrong. No, I did not get this wrong. So you fill it through here. And then you properly seal it in there. That's nice. And that's the little pump. Just look at that tiny motor. This is my pinky. <laughs> that's pretty cute. So it's a pump. Basically, uh, it draws in water from this end through this hose and outputs it into three places. Let's see if we can actually see those three places in a moment. Yep. Tiny holes. That's cool. Okay, I like it. And it has a tiny wheel. So it doesn't uh, uh, just get dragged. In theory it also has a bit of support, but I will see if this gets that dirty that it stops spinning. But yeah, this is quite easy to clean. It seems to be magnetically attached, attached, almost couldn't pronounce that. So yeah, and presumably also it gets power from the same attachment because I see a wire in here and for sure there, yeah, that's also a wire in here. So this is, or maybe they are just contacts, not magnets. We'll see that in a moment. But yeah, anyway, let's continue really really thick manual I'll uh, get back to that 
after I take out more, we still have stuff in here. Wait a second. What do we have in here? Okay. Sort of a brush. And this looks like something that you can get hairs maybe to to get them when they are stuck in this we'll see we'll read the manual even more manuals although this is warranty notice okay this is going away we void warranties on this channel yeah, nothing else this also goes away and this creates a bit of debris that's not nice, but at least uh, the vacuum will have something to do. The robot itself, and yeah, it is quite thin. Not thin enough to go under those things. So uh, there's that. But we can still move them to get them out of the way when required. Let me just check further in here what we have and then get back to this. Okay, here is the base. Up until now, honestly, it's quite self-explanatory. All that I'm seeing here kind of makes sense. No weird parts that you don't know what they are doing. Nothing more in the bag. Okay, cool. And here we have the connector. Is the base directly at 220 volts? Yes, it is. So it has its own transformer and presumably somewhere a, a power cable. What we will see exactly where. Let me search in this box first. So that box was basically half power cable, half spacer. And we have here the power cable which could be white. Interesting decision to make this gray. But yeah, it's a nice gray. I don't mind that. And from what I can see, it's the simple, I don't know the connector name, but it's the one that uh, stereos, uh, st cassette players you, you used to have back in the days. And in these times, I think uh, many LCD TVs have this proper, uh, this same connector. It's a good connector, it's quite snug usually, so let's plug it in. By the fact that this has this other color of plastic don't quote me but I'm expecting this to emit some sort of uh, IR, IR light or something I can even somewhat see something in there to help the robot align with it I can see something deep in there just a bit these are spring loaded to make a good contact with the robot and in here we have a rubber which is a interesting decision mostly these days you see those uh, uh, the things that you you rotate to tighten the the black wires or white but most black so this thing compact decently light but not light enough that you think hey this is dangerously light no it's good next I think we only have the brush in here, honestly. The rest of it just spaces, but I'm going to search through it to make sure that I'm not throwing anything away. Yep, and we have the little small brush. Oh, this is cute. I was expecting this to be much, uh, much stiffer and I was a bit afraid that it will scratch the furniture. This is the reason I didn't even remove the protection from it up until now because if this was beginning to scratch it I would have had a big problem but it might actually even go underneath it so I don't I, I think it's a non-issue I can remove this that's good this uh, as you can see it it's rubber the whole of it and what what is this tiny guy doing in here that's cute Maybe that's actually cleaning 
the location of this brush inside of the uh, the robot. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I like this. Nice attention to detail. And yes, presumably I will buy a few of these um, as backup because they will get damaged over time for sure. Okay, check. Not magnets. Also not magnets. Not magnet. And not magnet. So no. These things are just uh, pieces of uh, metal. Nickel plated, chrome plated. Presumably nickel or, or matte, matte nickel or chrome, who knows. Uh, and yes, a bit of oil from uh, this thing and from what I can hear it, this thing also acts as a switch. So somehow if one wheel slips uh, off something it instantly stops because it knows it can fall. I'm not 100% sure about this. Here some kind of sensor, but I don't know exactly what type of sensor. Everything is moving nicely, so the construction, the quality of the build itself. This is rubber. This, again, uh, soft brushes. Yeah. Presumably this is how we get this out. And is it some rubber in here? Okay, so this is how we get this out if we need to. This is quite cool, honestly. So that's the channel through which uh, it actually draws the air. And if you hear weird noises, my daughter is next to me. <laughs> I'm not going to say what she was doing. Let's close this up. Okay. I like this thing. Honestly, I really like this thing. Also other sensors as I can see in here. On all sides. Uh, we have this. And I was right, this cleans the edge of it. So in theory, I can directly plug it in now. That's cool, little guy. Okay, I, I might be a bit too en enthusiastic about this robot, but I actually see it as a robot at this point. Okay, and now it's staying down. They tell us to remove this before first use because this is a protection foam for transport. And daughter just dropped something. Because this is also a bumper. It has sensors. I think they are infrared. But this is also a bumper with rubber at the bottom. So it will not scratch what it bumps into. We can get this off. Partially satisfying peel. And I think from here, yes, daughter stocking. So sorry about that. We lift this. Yes, okay. And this, did you see? So you lift it slowly up until here and then it goes by itself. Okay, show me. I don't know about other robots. I didn't buy any, didn't use any, but this one, for being one of the cheapest ones, man, this looks good. And here you see what it has gathered. Let's see. Can I figure it out without uh, the manual how to get it out? Uh, let's not push our luck. In theory, from here. But I don't want to damage anything, so let's... Or maybe we need both and just pull it... Eh. Anyway, I didn't need to read the manual up until now. So that's a good product design, when you can figure it out by not reading the manual, just by looking at stuff. And here we have... Is it a, a HEPA filter? That's what I think it is. And let's see, can we remove it? The other daughter woke up. Yes, we can remove it and clean it. Foam all around to seal. I like this. And I think this is uh, even the way you empty it, isn't it? Or does the front of it actually come off? The front might come off to, to empty it easier. Let's clip this in place. Did I put it wrong? No, I didn't. You just push it in there. 
they are showing me something with the arrows so that is why I'm not quite sure I might need two hands to actually pull this away so let me see if I can open it and yes it has two clips at each uh, red uh, arrow one clip at each arrow two in total and this comes off and you you drain it so not sure I think this is how you are supposed to empty it uh, this is the first part that I'm not 100% sure about I I've seen too many broken clips in my uh, days of fixing stuff yes the little robot she's telling me that that's how you empty it and yep she is much brighter than I am honestly I didn't even look at the paper that was right above this so clip in Ah, oh, both of them clipped put it right back in there and it's done close this and I think remove the protective film before use by opening it I forced this to go inside so I need to somehow push it on the outside to get it off and it's off so that's is that a camera that's a camera is this thing actually looking above it to map the room also so it's looking at my ceiling to also understand uh, where it is in the room that's actually cool honestly that's about it at this point I'm reading the manual and we are starting this uh, robot which doubles as a toy at the moment honestly yes that's a brush the Perry mommy or Perry amica Perry de la robot okay so let's do this let's put this away uh, obviously remove the protection from uh, the base station from the top of it and it also has one on this front plastic so now this is ready to be plugged in and uh, let the robot connect to it so let's read the manual if my daughter would give it to me another little daughter to play with the robot i hope she will not sit on it hmm, that wouldn't be good just wanted to show you this page it explains everything about the top buttons so from this one you turn it on and uh, you make it clean if you press it uh, once again from the one with the home you can send it to its docking station or make it clean a particular spot if you press it for three seconds and it shows you all the leds what they mean and what they tell you what we got in the box and we got everything right understood right everything uh, right in here we have a reset button in case something uh, uh, you want to go to factory settings for example air outlet speaker so it has a speaker presumably it beeps or something so infrared sensor yep signaling area yep got it got it right uh, cliff sensor so this will stop it from falling omnidirectional wheel yes charging contacts movement sensor okay so it knows if it's stuck or not okay Side brush, yeah, we know about that. Water tank, brush cover clips, yes, we know about those that you need to uh, get them together and collision buffer. That's quite cool. So, yeah, you need to have more than half a meter on each side of the base. So that uh, changes the way I wanted to mount this, to install it actually. I'm, I'm going to quickly just show you the pages you can pause at any time in case you don't have this robot and you want to see how it works this is uh, oh so it has more than one uh, cleaning method okay that's cool I will learn more about that it's it's useful to read the manual before buying something because it might not have what you need or what you want. Routine maintenance. Yes, you clean it with water from time to time. You clean the wheel, so 
you can pop it pop it out that's really cool because for sure uh, hair will get in there and uh, clog it and block it so if you can open uh, disassemble it and clean it that's awesome it shows you how to remove that little thing yeah this is cool yeah we didn't fully remove that as you can see you need to slide it we only undid this yeah this is cool honestly do you have more yes troubleshooting just quickly you can pause at any time hopefully we, you will never need the troubleshooting pages even more troubleshooting hey little daughter just a moment people need to see this and the specs of it so it has a 2400 milliamp power uh, battery in it 3.6 kilos this is the frequency of the wireless connection voltage obviously 40 watts output power dbm okay so that, this thing shouldn't be that noisy if i understand that correctly and these are the specs of the charging dock itself and daughter just a moment this is the size of it quite small honestly so uh yeah let's get this thing connected place the thing in there plugged into a socket and yes as you can see still lots of construction dust all around this thing goes everywhere so hopefully this little guy will start clearing it out because we tried and have not yet succeeded push and hold the button and it's on in theory and uh, eh, so it's talking to us let's see can we make it go to the base In theory, they tell us to put it on the base, but I don't. Returning to the dock to charge. Okay. I think it's searching for the dock at this point. No, little guy, the dock is not here. It's bumping into me now, and I think it just saw the dock. It's aligning with the dock. And it's going to charge now. Charging. And as you could hear it, it's talking for me. I don't need to say anything basically. It's charging, so we let it do its thing now. In theory, when that is fully on all the time, it should be charged. This is what pops up and we are installing it and presumably it will tell us how to connect the little robot to it. Yeah, it found it. Next. What? Do I need to... Okay, so... It seems they got connected, so now we are just waiting I bring device closer to router. Network connected successfully. Okay, so that's done. Select room. Uh, let's say living room. Add to favorites. Yes, I guess. My robot. Ah, I don't know. Let's say that's a good robot name, I guess. Come on, get out. Next. Okay, share the home. No. Let's get started. And it is loading something. And what can I do at this point with it? I could presumably make it clean the room. Yep, agreed. Yeah, it's telling you to clean everything from the floor, which makes sense. Yes, put the drop in a proper position so it can reach it. Yes, done that. 
make sure you have good light so it will be using that camera that I showed you on the top of it without good light it cannot find its way around map saving mode okay yep that's good firmware update update now yep so the little robot has a firmware update the second I started that's I'm updating it will take me about five minutes. Do not turn me off, nor start a cleaning task. So, we let the, let the little robot update at this point. This is cool, honestly. This is, this is like a toy approved by your wife. So, yeah, get one if you want to play around. So, okay, let's see. Uh, schedule, cleanup, device settings, where do I manage location, I I wanted to to make it save, ah, this one, map saving mode enabled, yep, if the, okay, reset the map, okay, so presumably we activated that, no scheduled uh, cleanups, device settings, notification, voice alerts, Jesus. Mm, so you can put a do not disturb period. I could put that during work hours. It's telling me that I need to, to change stuff based on how much it has worked. And you click on it and then uh, reset it if you need to, after you changed it. This is honestly a, a toy. And find it. I'm here. Ah, really? I'm here. <laughs> okay, so it's, <laughs> it's telling me where it is to find it if it went under uh, furniture or something and we cannot find it. And I, I have a remote control. I'm not going to do anything with it because it's charging now, so it, I don't want to move it, but you can move it like like a toy. <laughs> okay, so area editor, virtual wall. Yes, you, you can set a virtual wall uh, at a point in time. Okay, yeah, this is cool. Stop map out. Upload if you don't want it to be uploaded. Locations, share device, automation, what? Add scenes, okay, too much for me at the, this point. Firmware update already done. And you can delete this robot if you buy another one. And this one has failed, presumably, hopefully, over 10 years later from the point I'm making this video. Wouldn't it be nice? Anyway, so that's about it. I can start cleanup if I want to, and I can, uh, if I get I'm to... already at the charging dock. <laughs> it's telling me it's already at the dock, obviously. So I'm going to let it do its thing. Standard strong turbo for cleanup mode and silent. That's quite, quite cool. So we can see here 28% battery and charging. What do we have here? Smart map, zone cleanup. So I can make it clean a certain zone. These apps, honestly, it's extremely intuitive. So the design overall, the map, uh, the the software in here, everything is extremely intuitive. So Xiaomi, bravo, bravo Xiaomi. This is much better than I expected it to be, honestly. Okay, so my daughter uh, is asking me to make the robot do something, so 49% battery, lithium, so it doesn't really matter if you don't let it charge to 100%, you need, don't need to format it, start cleanup. And it has started, and it's not even at maximum power, so I might need... Oh. Did you see? It already uh, removed uh, some debris from the floor. And it's going from one side to the other, bumping into stuff. And my daughter really happy with it. 
Yep, it knows what it's doing. It found the end of the room, and now it. I think it will continue from uh, where it left off. Hey, 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 nope, nope, daughter, no. Yes, so it's continuing exactly from no. where it <laughs> left off. Basically, from where it started. So it's doing the other half of, of the room. As you can see, this little guy is doing a great job of mapping the ground floor. Uh, it got tangled, poor little thing, in some toys. So I needed to untangle it and then uh, it was a bit confused, but just for a moment and then it started going right back at making this map. Poor little thing got stuck for a second right in the corner of that. So this is a thicker carpet, but still managed to clear it, and I think it's going home. Or it's trying to find new places to to explore and extend uh, the edges of the room. Clean up completed, returning to the dock to charge. I didn't quite catch that, so I'm telling you what it told me. And this was on uh, the same power that I showed you, so on turbo this thing will clean even better for effect. So charging. And uh, what I see that it did, honestly, it's it's good enough. It's it's not 100% perfect, but again, it was not on full maximum, absolute maximum that it can do. So if it does this a couple of uh, times a week, it's perfect in my book, honestly. This is the next day. It finished uh, charging last night and it fully shut off, so that's perfect. It stays for a while with this fully lit to show you that it fully charged and then it simply shuts off. And I'm curious now what it gathered. <laughs> and this is what it actually gathered, which is a lot. Good on you, little robot. Quite impressive, honestly. So let's clean this up and start it once again in the same room. Hey, 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 stop it. Uh, clean the same room, room again on higher power and see what it gathers the second time. I highly recommend you clean the filter really well each time. Uh, because if not, it will clog up and the power will decrease the suction power of this and you do not want that. So let's get starting and check the brushes. I will check them off video. I see some um, hairs on them. Remove the hairs by hand with that tool, with the hook, if you cannot do it any other way. Remove the brush and as you can see, lots of uh, hair on it and it's not easy to pull it. So what I recommend, you simply, yeah, I don't think I will be able to cut with my left hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I managed to do it. You simply cut it, make sure you do not cut the bristles of the brush itself, only the hair, and if it's cut, then from the other side will be much easier to pull, obviously. Okay, so I found the only thing that I don't like about the, the little robot, the fact that it gathers hair right here at the ends, and there is no way to get it out. I need to try and cut it somehow. Yes, daughter. Rest of it is out simple but this it's a pain and the ends as far as I can see are non-removable so I cannot simply just get them out of here to remove that okay crisis avoided used a serrated knife to simply get in there and cut the hairs and get them out so this is clean but it's it's a bit of a, design error, but I'm sure they have their reasons for that channel in there, so yeah. Just learned about the downside to all of this uh, smart tech. If your internet connection is down, uh, you cannot really change much. As you can see, I cannot set it to strong. So I, I presumably can make it clean, but it doesn't see the map of my room. It It's not smart anymore if it doesn't have a connection to internet and in my area sometimes the connection is a bit uh, fishy, a bit dodgy. Okay, so let's see if we can clean the house without uh, internet. Uh, what was it? This one? I'm starting the cleanup. Ha! Huh. 
And in theory it's working, but how well will it work without internet? It doesn't have the pre-recorded map, so it will do it without the map, obviously. Okay, so it seems it is doing the cleaning even without internet, but you don't have access to its uh, smart features, and that's about it. But it's still a working vacuum cleaner. It's really funny, I just saw it, uh, it goes around this thing. So it doesn't uh, brush uh, up against it when it's cleaning the edge because there's the risk that it moves it and it cannot find it. So smart programming right there. And it has returned to station uh, even without an internet connection. So that's awesome. And as a present to it, I cleaned uh, its uh, home area of that construction ah, residue. Let's create... Um, a local area somewhere around here for it to mop. Yes, we'll interrupt the current task and come on, hold a bit, hold it for a bit. Here in the middle, make it way smaller. And yes, there is a bit of a guessing game because I honestly don't know exactly for sure where the spot is and this thing Moving it is honestly quite a bit tricky when it's small. I think I've got it figured out. So, start cleanup. So it tell, told me that it's starting zone cleanup. And it's doing exactly what I told it to do. It's cleaning this particular area. Okay, so let's see how we can add a room. Okay, this is the correct way. You basically leave the door open and it will simply find a new room, change its color and uh, yeah, mark it as new territory. So I got a screen that was telling me that the cleanup route doesn't match and indeed it doesn't because I opened some uh, doors and it found some new cleaning areas. So we will allow it to update the map to replace the old one. This is how the bathroom looks like after you take a shower, a lot of marks. So this is where the mop should come in and make everything squeaky clean. So you just, uh, oh, I already did, you just open this thingy up, fill it up with water uh, and slide this under the robot and uh, make it do a room cleanup, a zone cleanup, depending on what you need to mop. Make sure it does not try to mop carpets. You cannot mop carpets, obviously. So, uh, yeah. And uh, be careful about detergents. I'm going to just use plain water this time. So, uh, yeah, let me fill it up and pop this in. And also you need to clean it every 30 seconds uh, when using it. And after it's finished, you press these things to get it out of its place and you obviously clean this thingy and make sure it's uh, dry so it doesn't get moldy and uh, nasty and stuff like that. Do not leave this connected to the, to the robot itself. This is only for the moments you are mopping and that's it. As you can see this is now full of water. You come behind the uh, robot itself and just slowly slide it into place and it will clip and it's locked in place. Now let's go into the app. And now that we are into the app, a new menu has appeared with how much water we want. This only appears when the mop part is connected. And to disconnect it, on each side you have one of these, you press them at the same time and pull back. First attempt, it's not doing much. I think you are also supposed to put water onto that uh, mop. Now that I got all of this wet, uh, I'm going to set the water flow to high and start again. And now it looks like uh, it's doing what it needs to do. And it seems much better. And it finished. So I'm going to leave this to dry and see how it was. It's not perfect, but it's much better than what it was. And I can set it to do another sweep, obviously. But for us, at least, this is just a secondary thing. We didn't buy it with the intention of mopping a lot with it. 
we bought it as a vacuum and mopping was just an added bonus in times <laughs> we actually need it so yeah pretty good and again it was just plain water with some detergent or something surely it would be even better okay so to end this video this little uh, robot vacuum vacuum robot is awesome and i have honestly not found a thing that it cannot do and i need so the more expensive ones for me just don't make any sense as you can uh, see in here it has mapped uh, the house completely i can set it to clean an area or a room or anything but it manages to clean the the whole thing in one go with one full battery on a high setting not on turbo but on high setting so that's awesome for me as you can see it's cleaning the bedroom at this point it is honestly awesome and that's it i'm going to continue to use it it has not failed even once yeah i can only say good things about it and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments and yeah that's about it for me i this is an extensive review it's been in use for a good while now all is perfect so yeah that's about it feel free to ask whatever you need in the comments and as always see you in the next video bye